Hi everybody, all my followers be welcome to another video. Right, as you can probably see, nothing to do with, with cars today. Um, so, what is this about? As per the title, most likely is a, a laptop repair, well, an attempt to do a laptop repair. So, I was given uh, two laptops the other day. Uh, that one, that honestly, I'm not very keen to do anything with this. Is a um, HP one of. Oh, sorry, guys, I wasn't even showing you the laptop. Sorry about that. Uh, let me move this to here. I'll show you what this one is. It's one of these hold laptops. Is an HP N NX nine one zero five. Honestly, I'm not very interested uh, on this one, at least not for now. However, the other one that was given to me, I'm quite keen to get repaired. Which is this, well, you've seen the motherboard in there. Let me not break anything. So I know I'm already starting kind of halfway through, but I'll show you in a minute what's going on with the laptop, which is this. Oh, where's the thing? So it's an HP as well. And is. Where is the... the oh, is that in there? I thought it would say in there, so it doesn't say it's there. I will try to show you, maybe it's down on the screen. Oh, there it is. It's a NX. So this is the screen. It's a NX6325. This one, I'm quite interested to get it going. So, I've dismantle the laptop I have the motherboard here plugged in um, and we're gonna start to try to diagnose this so obviously guys you know I'm not a laptop repair professional so don't expect nothing like uh, microscopes and nothing very fancy um, I'm gonna have a go at it I'm interested in getting this one running as I said and repeating myself the other one not so much at least for now this one I'm quite interested so the first thing I want to show you is that the the laptop doesn't work so I want to show you that first uh, and the way I'm going to show you is okay let, let me place the phone somehow so we can look at this properly okay, so the first thing let's go into actually disconnect this plug in the fan so you can see that it doesn't power up Okay, so this goes like this. So let's plug it in. Okay, so the power button is right here. This little corner. Uh, actually, let me take the phone out of fear so I can actually show you. So the power button is right here. And you're gonna see when I press. Nothing happens. And the first thing we're going to do is start to make some measurements. Okay, and ideally I would have like the camera was showing really a close up and it would have this, the, the, the multimeter on the screen. Guys, you I already told you I'm not, it's not my area. So I'm not that fancy. Anyway, let's going to try to make a few measurements. First of all, let's go to look. Uh, and this, by the way, guys, is the way you should start all the time. Uh, special on, on this case that I have no power whatsoever uh, the laptop doesn't respond no charging port uh, comes up um, I haven't showed you that I probably I should have started before I dismantle the, the laptop but when you plug it in not even the, the, the charging LED comes on nothing comes on so it's completely dead uh, so the first thing we're going to check is obviously my charger uh, make sure I have the 19 volts in this case is a 19 volts so let's gonna go to a ground somewhere. Uh, any anywhere on the board is gonna be a ground. So we're gonna go to this area here. Let's see if we have 19 volts. So I don't know how good it comes on the screen. It comes good enough. So there it is. So right after my charging port, I have 19 volts. Now uh, straight after, uh, let's gonna check. So there's a component here. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, yeah, we have voltage straight after, which is good. Looks like some sort of a gate, some sort of a 
switch anyway uh, from here we came to our first MOSFET so so 19 volts on one side that's gonna see on the other side and I have zero volts so my MOSFET is not opening okay let's see on the gate of this MOSFET and I have 17 volts so there is really no reason why this MOSFET should not be opening okay could this be a bad MOSFET most likely so let me show you a close-up of exactly what we are measuring you've seen the voltage on the screen so I'll, I'll show you now a close-up of exactly what I was measuring so we have a better so you have a better understanding of what I'm doing so here we are again so I'm gonna take you through everything again so my port I know you can't see the screen guys I do apologize but you've seen it before so on my port and I do have 20 volts here and I would love to show you everything at the same time I'm gonna do this actually I know I know you're not very professional I do apologize okay so oh dear so charging port 20 volts so let me take a little bit of light Ah, that's better okay well that's better for you not for me um, so we have this component here I'm not 100% sure what this component is uh, but it looks some sort of a switch something like that anyway we have 20 volts or 19 volts right after it so that's fine then it comes all the way through here there's a, capac a capacitor here that goes to my gate looks like it looks like a capacitor that goes to my MOSFET gate and then it comes here ends here and this is my first MOSFET and as you can see so three pins for my MOSFET and I have 19 volts come on the other side of the MOSFET and I have zero so obviously current is not flowing so this MOSFET is not opening however when I come to the gate I do have 19 volts or 18 point something so what do we have here do we have a bad MOSFET do we have a bad MOSFET let me check the next MOSFET in line it's that one there so I have 0.7 volts on my gate and I have 0.7 volts on my okay what are we going to do here Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by removing my MOSFET. Okay, let's going to remove this MOSFET. Let me actually unplug it. I'll try to do this without actually stop recording. Oh dear, this is bad guys. This is bad. Sorry about that. is MOSFET is out okay right 
MOSFETs, 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 MOSFETs. Without going too much into details, the MOSFET is like a valve that opens and closes to allow current to flow. They, they, they are here, okay, they are here, but they are 100% necessary. So, for a quick, quick, quick test, that's gonna do the following. Let's go into that's the gate. Okay, don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I'm literally bridging the MOSFET, so I'm just using a wire, a really thin wire, as you can really, as you can see, a really thin wire as a, as a sort of a bridge. So now. Let's plug it in again. Whoa. Whoa. I can definitely feel load on the charger now. So when I plugged it in, you know sometimes when it kind of kind of sparks when you plug it in, I definitely listen I listened to something. I heard something. So let's gonna see what we have now. So obviously now we're gonna have voltage where on the other side of the MOSFET but what I want to see is on the next MOSFET in line if I have voltage after the MOSFET and I do have so this second MOSFET is opening okay so which means without even stopping recording if I now let me try to put it like this if I rotate the board now, and uh, let me take this out of the way. Everything is entangled around here. So let me see if the board powers up now. Oh, gentle. Ho ho ho! Look at this! Ha <laughs> ha! All right! Any power up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so uh, it looks like we have a bad MOSFET by the looks of it. Or we have, because we have voltage on my gate for the MOSFET. So let's unplug it. Let's turn this around. So. Am I going to try to get a MOSFET? Where's the other one? That's rubbish. Okay, let me get on one of my motherboards, on my band, on one of my spare motherboards. See if I have a MOSFET that I can use here. If it's the MOSFET. If not, to be honest with you, as I was saying, the MOSFETs, they are not 100% necessary. Plus, we have all the other ones working. If I can't get this to work with another MOSFET, I might just put the jumper again. So as you've seen, I just, oh, you haven't seen it, I just removed the wire jumper again. So let me try to look on my motherboards for a MOSFET. Right. Ugh. Will this be any good? So power comes in there. We have one here straight away. I think I might gonna take this one out. Hold on. Let's 
over here. That's the one. So let me see which side the gate is. So the gate is on this side. Ah, I just broke it. Damn it. Tell you why, this lead free solder can be an absolute. Oh, there's another one there. Let's take that one out. I hope I'm not going to use the wrong one. I don't know if it's going to be NPN or. I hope I'm not going to use the wrong one. Probably I should use an HP board that would use similar MOSFETs. I will have a go and see what happens. Let's see if I don't break this one now. like someone is ringing me. That's a bad time. Are they glued as well or what? Mm, looks like they were. No, 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 no. Okay, so the gate is that pin over there. So, so if I'm getting on the way, so this one will go. Where did I put it? Oh, is there? Oh, no, is there? <laughs> so, that's my gate. So, it's gonna go bang on like that. So if this doesn't work, most likely it will be, but it should it should do work. It's done. Let me just check my phone, see who was ringing me. Actually, no, I'll not. I'll do it while you guys are watching. No one important, I think. I can feel the same load when I plug it in. Let's rotate the board, actually. <sighs> Guys, it's working. So, a bad MOSFET. That simple. That simple. So, let's gonna put everything back on. Uh, I'm going to assemble the laptop again and um, and just see if boots up okay. Uh, replace this battery before I put it on. Uh, obviously, I'll have to format the, the hard drive, etc. etc. But guys, it was just a bad MOSFET, which I don't even know where it is now. I think I dropped it on the floor somewhere. The, the old one, not that I need it, but. Oh damn it, where did I? Yeah, it must have dropped somewhere. 
sorry about that guys but yeah as you've seen just a MOSFET we tested it that would work without the MOSFET obviously we put a new one and it's working again so as I said let's go and assemble everything and test the laptop Okay, let's gonna see what happens. Uh, Battery is not plugged in. Hey, look at that! Let me take the thing from here. Look at that! Hey, hey. and I have a fully working laptop. Oh dear. F10, hope it's not password protected. I need to clean this screen though. No, it's not. Right, and it's actually in Portuguese. Look at that. Right. Uh, what else? So where's the hard drive? The hard drive is somewhere oh, it's here as well. I haven't put the hard drive as well. But guys, that's it. What else to say? In the end, a bad MOSFET, nothing rocket science really is to get to it uh, or to find out what the issue was, as you have seen. Uh, I don't know. Hope you've learned something. Hope there's some information in, in this video that you can find useful. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, please, please, please put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.